watoto na weni mikono. The children of the world have a special token that awaits in the future. So in the middle of wars, conflict, diseases and corruption kindly teach them to keep their hands free from that. Teach them to live a life that the modern day pestilences cannot hack. Teach them to stay away from social gatherings that can expose them to any viral rat. And as they find time to share their thoughts about the things they daily see in our society, always remind them in a language they understand best that it is in observing maximum standards of hygiene that we can gain ultimate victory over the diseases that are currently blowing across the globe. So watoto na weni mikono. Good morning, good morning. Hope you are keeping safe wherever you are. Uh, today we are having a very special la language that we shall learn. Uh, my name is Moses Gitonga, and today I'm joined with my sign language interpreter, Delik Nandiri. So we are going to learn a very unique uh, subject, which is very universal to everyone who do a sign language. So we are having Kenya sign language as a subject for or everyone who usually use sign language whether in primary school, secondary school, or even in tertiary levels of education. So I want us uh, maybe first we can uh, basically know what we mean by the Kenya Sign Language. Maybe my director can, uh, can focus on us, the viewers, the, or the, the basic facts of Kenya Sign Language. We can see that in our, on, uh, on our screen. Director, please. So the first point that I want us maybe to know is the, uh, what we mean by the Kenya Sign Language. Kenya Sign Language is the indigenous dialect eh, uh, used by the person with hearing impairment. Uh, it's, a, it's a very independent language that uh, you usually uh, has its own grammar and its own morphemes and, uh, and uh, synonyms. Eh? KSL is the medium of instruction for learners or with person with hearing impairment. And also, the, the, this is a very constituted uh, uh, language, which is even in our constitution. Apart from the Braille and the, uh, and, and, and the, the, the natural language, KSL is constituted. Another, uh, another thing that maybe I will talk about the, the Kenya Sign Language, for all those learners who are, who are doing special need, this is a very unique, uh, it's, a, it's a unit that is done by the third years people who are, who are specializing in Kenya, uh, in special need, in, in hearing impairment. So, uh, and, also, and also for, the, for, for those who are doing postgraduate, like for myself, I did this unit when I was in that year. I did it, I did it when I was in my, I did my coursework for my master's, and also I, I, I'm prospect to do it in my higher learning. So it's a very unique language that I want us to, to, to look at it and see how, we, how, the, how the, the grammatical structure is the, is the language. So I, I, I have a very basic rules for KSL that I, I, I would like us to go through as uh, then later on we look at the examples of such uh, sentences. So the first thing that we need to know in, in the, when you are constructing a KSL grammar, there is one thing, that KSL sentences are grossed. The meaning of grossed that the, the spoken words, they are supposed to be written in capital letters. Uh, the, other, the, the second one, a comma is punctuated by a slash. A slash. This is uh, the, the slash. And a full stop by double slash. The third point is, uh, according to the, the, the Kenya National Association of the Deaf, the K Kenya Sign Language Grammar follows three major orders. It follows uh, three orders that is in a grammatic. We shall see uh, when, I, when, when we shall look, be, be looking at our examples. Eh? So the first order is the SVO, SOV, and OSV, where S is the subject, V is the verb, 
and uh, O is the object. So this is the, the, the grammatically, the, the verb should always, should always uh, 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 be seen, it, it should always be presided by, uh, by, by the, the subject. And, and uh, always, you should not start the, 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 the verb with a sentence in KSL. We shall, we, we shall see, we shall see when we look at the example of, of Kenya Sign Language sentences. So first, uh, I would like to look at the, 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 this example. The first example, in, in, a, in, a very na in a natural language, we say stay at home. Stay at home. That is a, in, in, a, a, in a spoken word, eh? uh, in a spoken sentence. But what do we say it in KSL? You say home stay. Now, there's something that I want you to, to, to look, or rather to, to concentrate so much on it. Eh? Uh, we, uh, this natural language, we start, or rather in, in a natural English, we, we use, we start with the verb. Stay is the verb. Home is the object. Um, um, is the object. Now, in, K, in KSL, there is what we call ellipsis. Ellipsis is where, whereby we normally omit, omit, uh, uh, unnecessarily, uh, unnecessarily, no, not unnecessarily, you omit some words that don't make, that, do, uh, that don't change uh, a, a, a meaning in a sentence. So in KSL, there is something that we normally avoid. We, we usually avoid this conjunction, like at, we shall, we shall not use it in, in, in KSL. That's why we're in, in KSL, you're supposed to start with the object. Home. Home is the object in this sentence. Stay is the verb. So you say home, stay. And as, when you look at our rules for, for KSL, there's one thing that we say. We say that the KSL sentences are glossed, meaning that they must start with a capital letter. Or rather, the, the sentence must appear in capital letters. As you can see, the, the, the whole sentence is in capital letter. Again, we say that the, 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 the full stop is marked, punctuated with a two slash. And uh, these are the two slash. Then, uh, there's something that I want us to, 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 to note. That in KSL, the verb always succeeds the object. Unlike the in natural language, where the, the, the verb preside the object. We shall look, we shall see even when it comes to other sentences, but, but the, most, the most common used uh, order of verb is the one that I, I highlighted here, the three one, the, the three orders. But the most, the, the, the most used is the, the, sec, the, the, the last two. This one is uh, it's not usually used, but the best I can maybe I can recommend you to be using and so that you don't make some mistakes there, the S-O-V and O-S-V. So when you look at the, the verb, it's a there, it's, it's, it's a, it, it, a preside, it a succeed the object. So even the other sentences, we have to make them or we have to construct them in this format. So let's look at the, the second sentence. The second sentence in, in a natural language, uh, uh, before we go to the second, there's something that I want to maybe to take you through. There's what you call now the, the SEE, Sign Exact English and KSL. What, what do you mean by when you say uh, uh, the Sign Exact English? Now, my interpreter, I, I think I'll sign this. I sign this. So. I want us. To, I want to sign. I want to sign this sentence in K in sign exact English, and I sign it in in uh, KSL. We see where the difference comes in. So I want us to sign. And whatever my viewers you are watching, just sign with me. Maybe you will you will you will come up with uh, something that you learn at the end of the lesson. Eh? Uh, now, stay at home. How do you sign that? That is why. I have brought about the concept of sign exact English and the concept of KSL. Signing in s sign exact English and KSL is totally different. When you say stay at home, when you sign stay at home in English, you say stay. This is the sign for stay. 
others will sign uh, stay like this because of the the, 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 the region of addition and the cultural of addition. Eh? But the the side the, the, the normally the, the standard one is stay. So stay at this sign for at home. Now that is sign exact English. Sign exact English is whereby you used you use the the exact words that are that, that are sub spoken in natural language. But in KSL, you're supposed to use this format. So that the, in this format, that, uh, that sentence is supposed to be said, home stay. So you say, home stay, and you are, and you are done. But in, uh, when you check, the, the, when you check the, the difference between the two sentences, eh, in, in the exact, in, in, the exact uh, in signing exact English, eh, you have, you have to, to, to incorporate this at. But in KSL, you, you omit, and that's why I have said about the ellipses. Ellipses is where you omit one that don't make a, uh, it doesn't make a change in it. It doesn't change the meaning of that sentence. When you say homestay, it's quite, uh, you, you, it's quite understandable and you'll know what I mean. Or someone who is telling you that you, you homestay, you'll, you'll be able to know what I want to mean. So KSL tends to avoid, uh, to, to, to apply this rule of ellipses. Now, number two, the girl is kicking the ball. The girl is kicking the ball. When you sign that, when you sign that, and uh, in, in SCE, in sign exact English, how will you sign that? Let me sign. So there, it's sign there, with a T. The girl is Kicking, uh, kicking the ball. Again, I repeat, eh? the girl is kicking the ball. Now, the same, the, the same, same thing. You look at the, the I have, I've taken you through the KSL. Now, this, the, this. This sentence eh, will be changed to KSL, and the, 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 uh, we have said that we shall use the SOV and OSV. Now you'll start with the, va, the you'll start with the, the subject. The subject here in this sentence is the girl. So you say, then you, you follow the you follow o, the, the SOV. So it's the subject, then object, then verb. So what will that, that sentence be? Is the girl ball kick? And you, you see, uh, the, 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 S, the, the girl is the object. Ball is the, uh, ball is an object. Kick is the verb. So we have used this order of S or V. And it must, it must be followed to the, the, the verb should, most of the time it must come. It must, uh, it, it, it should uh, succeed the object. And that's why we have used S or V. Again, the same, same sentences, the same sentence you can also uh, represent it in, a, in, in another, the other format of OSV. You can start with the ball, which is the object. Then you go to the, the, the subject, which is the girl, and then kick. The most important thing that you have to note here is that the, the, the object should, uh, should preside the, the verb. So that's why you have the ball, girl, kick. And you have to note that the, the full stop, your full stop must have double slack. And also the, the sentence must appear in capital letter in Kenya sign language. Now, how do you sign this? Now, uh, we have signed this. OK, let, let me repeat uh, signing it uh, in, in sign exact English. Then I, uh, I sign it with KSL. In, in natural English, the girl is kicking the ball. So the girl is kicking the ball. That is in sign exactly. We have ensured that we have included all the, say the, the, we have signed all words in, in that sentences. But in KSL, we tend to not to use this, uh, the, the likes of, the, of there and is, we try to, 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 to li limit or la limit ourselves using all those words. So then that's why you have to say girl, ball, kick. So girl, ball, kick. 
the second one in uh, following this OSV ball girl kick that is in KSL so you have to note and I, I'll keep on emphasizing this you have to note that the, you when you are using this when you know the, the format of the subject uh, object and verb you'll be able to construct your sentence in KSL at the same time when you look at my interpreter it's um, and you look at my interpreter, I don't know whether he's using uh, sign exact English or KSL, but either it's, it's recommendable provide, uh, depending on the, on, the, on, on the level or, or the, the kind of people you are interpreting for. So the, the, I would like us to look at now the, the third example. The third example, it's, uh, it's my brother bought two sanitizer. My brother bought two sanitizer. Now there's something that I want us to, uh, okay, when a sentence, okay, when, when you look at that sentence, this sentence is in past tense. And when a sentence in past tense, in KSL, there's a way that you treat that sentence. How you treat that sentence, eh? you have to make sure that where you have that, like now the, 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 the one that shows the, the, the to buy is a, is a verb. This verb must be changed when it comes to KSL. So uh, uh, using our, 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 our issue of uh, uh, order of SVO, you, we can say brother, okay, let, let me just write it in a, okay. Brother, mine, uh, bought two sanitizer. Brother, mine, bought two sanitizers. But there's something that I want us to note. This sentence, it's in past tense. You know, if the, the, the word bot was not in past, let's just uh, have that as some. If it were not for, if it were not a past tense, this is how you'll maybe you'll have treated that sentence. But this is wrong because this the the the, the, the word it happened in past. So uh, you have to treat this or the, the 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 past tense of the, of the bot is to buy. So you have to, so what you'll say is brother mine by brother mine. So you start with the, the, this uh, subject. M my my changes to in KSL changes to mine. So you have to ensure that this this bot changes to present tense. So brother mine by by is 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 a verb. To sanitizer. And then this sentence, it's happened in the past. So you have to earn, finish. So what you say is brother mine, buy, two sanitizer, finish. Because this sentence, in KSL, uh, to signify something that happened in the past, you have to use, maybe finish, use uh, words like finish, complete, uh, yeah, use such kind of words to, to signify that that sentence happened in the past. So that's why it has, uh, the, the, our sentence is brother mine buy two sanitizer finish. So I want us to sign that. So in, in sign exact English, uh, we shall have, so this is a sign for my, my brother, this is a sign for brother brother so my brother to buy or to uh, to buy or to bought this is so my brother bought this is to buy 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 so my brother bought two sanitizers so sanitizer is signed for sanitizer. How you, you press it like this? Sign for sanitizer. 
And because in sign exact English, you see is sanitizers, it's not so one. Is sanitizers. So is I, I repeat. So my brother bought two sanitizers. You have to add the S. After you have signed the sanitizer, then you have to ask, or, or alternative, you can use uh, sanitizers. You can, you can sign sanitizer like this, then you sign two or many. But the best, uh, in, but because this is signed, uh, signed exact English, you are represented in a natural way. You have to, it's, it's better you use the S to, to signify that uh, there are two, or rather there are many. So in KSL, it will be brother, Mine buy two sanitizer finish. The sign for, for finish is finish. So again, I repeat brother mine bought two sanitizers finish. So, and still uh, note that you have to use the, to use that, the, the, the slash, provided it's, it's, it's a sentence with the, with the past tense or the, the, the loose of the good doesn't change in this. Yeah. Now, we have, in that case, we have used SVO. Uh, now I want us to use the, 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 the next, uh, the, the other order of the verb, which is OSV. How will you put that? Now, in this case, you'll start with the object. The object in this, uh, okay, the object uh, in this case uh, is the two sanitizer. A brother is the subject, and by is the uh, is the verb. So how will you how will you present this? How will you present this? So the two sanitizer is the object. Brother is the subject, and uh, and finish, uh, no, no, uh, uh, and by is the is the verb. So uh, I want us now to sign this with this with this order, which is OSV. Two sanitizer. So two san So two sanitizer. Brother, mine. Boy. So two sanitizers. No, no, no. In this case, remember this is KSL. So we won't use now the the S. We won't we, we won't add the S because in KSL uh, I, I told you that we we normally do, do, don't use the uh, those uh, grammar. Uh, it's not like SCE that you have to put everyone that is there. You see there in that sentence. But in KSL, we, we tend to ignore kind of the, 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 the S that we had, sanitizer. So you just you sign sanitizer as one. So what you sign is the two sanitizer, brother, mine, by, finish. And then you put that, uh, the slash to, to, to signify the, um, the slash, the, the full stop. Now the, 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 the other the other the other number four the other example. It's it goes like when did you when did you finish school? When did you finish school? Now, uh, uh, when we look at a sentence, when you look at our sentence, it's still uh, there is something that I haven't done here. I haven't put the, uh, the, the question mark. Uh, when, when you look at that sentence, it's in past tense. And I have told you how you treat a sentence uh, when it is in past tense. So you have to include uh, sentence, uh, words like finish. So when we, 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 when, when we do it, uh, or rather when, when we started with the, this order of OSV, our, our, object, our object here will be uh, will be the school. You is a pronoun, which is a is a is a pronoun that will be treated as a subject. Then finish is the verb. 
So how will that sentence appear in, 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 in KSL? It will be school you finish when? School you finish when? But in, in exact English is when did you finish school? So you can see that the when is coming at the end. School is starting as the object following the, the order of OSV, of objects, uh, subject, verb. You can see the verb is, is, succeeding, the, both, uh, is succeeding the object. Just like I said that the, you have to ensure that the, uh, the, the object, uh, the object, the, the verb uh, succeeds the object. So school, you finish when? The other format you can present the same same sentence is using SOV. SOV you, uh, in SOV the subject here is you. So so you school so school is the object verb is at the end so school uh, you school when finish then there is the, the, there is a question mark here. So you can see that uh, the, uh, what you check in Kenya sign like when, you're, uh, you, when you're presenting a sentence in KSL grammar, you have to ensure that these two, these two format, the SOV and OS, uh, o, o, OSV are follow. You, you have to ensure that they, they are in order and they, you have to follow the, the two. So uh, let, me, let, let me send this there before I, 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 I expound on something that I want to talk about. So in exact English, when did you finish school? How do you sign that? So the sign for when, when d did. Now the sign for did to do. Okay, the 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 uh, the, the present tense for did, for did is do. So the sign for do is this. But this is in sign exact English. In sign exact English, you're supposed to present your sentence the way it is. So you're supposed, the, the, the sign for did, you can sign like this. So it will be, you figure spell. Figure spelling is to represent that word in, in letter form. So this is the D, I, and D. So when did you, now you point to the, to the point that the person who you are talking, the subject of the, 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 the subject. So you is the, the subject. If the, that person is there, you, you have to point him or her. So when did you finish school. And then note this is sign exactingly. You have to put the, the question mark because it's in sign exactingly. Sign exactingly is whereby you have to use every word that is in that, uh, uh, in that sentence, unlike KSL, where you, you ought to ignore. So when did you finish school? Then the, the sign for, uh, for question mark is this way. So you have to put it. And uh, yeah, you have to put that in a sign exact English. So how do you present this in, uh, uh, in, K in KSL? You have said this, school you finish when? So the same, the, the same way you have signed. OK, one thing, the, the sign don't change. The, the sign for, for, for those, uh, the, for, for, uh, whether in SEE or in KSL, doesn't change. The only thing is that changes is the format or presentation uh, in terms of grammar. So uh, the, the, in, in KSL, it will school you finish when? So in that case, you won't put the, the question mark. You won't put the question mark. Because the question is, the, the, the grammar itself, it, it signifies that it's a question in KSL. The second one, you school when finish. So in this case, you are starting with you. So it's you, school, uh, when, finish. So that is what you are, it's sup sup supposed to, to, to be represented. So uh, uh, there's something that I, I would like maybe to, to, to see, yeah? that these sentences, they appear in uh, very, very different in, in SE and in KSL. But there is the, the, the one thing that changes is the orders of these sentences. So maybe there is someone who is, uh, who is asking himself or herself, eh? why, why, why do people with hearing impairment uh, choose the, this, this language? 
Now, Kenya cell is their mother tongue. Just like maybe how someone has, it's, it's a uh, Kiku speaker, this is their mother tongue. And they, they were they are, they are instructed. Actually, this is the mode, the, the, the mode of instruction in school for the deaf. This is wh what they are getting. Even, even if it's they are, they are being taught mathematics, in, in, they, are, they are instructed in this, in this method. Uh, as you continue, maybe uh, you, I know you are watching there, and uh, there is, uh, you can send your, your comment uh, through our, our KUTV uh, Facebook. That is at KUTV, and also there is an, uh, a number that is going uh, at the caption there. You can send your, your, your comment in that WhatsApp number, and we shall read that after this. So, as a summarize, and you can send even your question so that uh, I can answer it maybe after the break. But now, it's something that I want us to, 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 to recapitulate once again. Look at the, you have to check the, the sentences. Whether your sentence in, gram, in, in KSL, have you put this sentence in? in, 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 in are they glossed? Or are they, have they appeared in, in, in capital letters? It's, it's a comma or, or a full stop represented by this slash. Is the, 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 the grammar following this, this three verb, this three, three, uh, this three format? But I have told you the most used one is the SOV and OSV, so that you don't make mistake. Because when you use the SVO, sometimes you may you, the, the, a sentence might not have a a a, 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 a a might not have an, a subject but has an object or have a, an object but doesn't have a subject. So you have to be very cautious when you are representing your sentence. Maybe you can look at one what, what, another sentence eh, which may. My mother is sick. So how, how, how can we represent this? How can we represent this in a KSL? My mother is sick. Remember, that I have told you there is some sentences in, uh, in KSL that they, they changes. Like my, it changes to mine. So how, the way you prepare, this is in, in natural language, this is nat uh, natural English. So how, how, how will you present this? So remember this mother is the subject. Sick is the, uh, uh, is the verb. So how, how will you, now you, you or we, shall, we shall use the, uh, So you start with the subject. So it will be mother, mother mine. Mother mine, sick. So you have views, this is the, the, the subject and the verb. Remember we are, why, why we are focused about the, 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 the most important thing in KSL to note, you have to know where is the subject, where is the verb, and where is the object. Other things, they might not really apply to this order, but you have to ensure that you have known where the subject is and the verb, so that you can know. Uh, and remember in our first rule, we say that the, that the, the verb should always succeed the, the object or a subject. So this is mother mine sick. Mother mind sick. So how do you sign this sentence? So the, okay, let us start. Uh, we sign it in uh, SE, then we sign it in KSL. So the sign for mother, this is mother. The, the sign is denoted from. A, it's normally said that the mothers are killing. So they, they usually touch their children, uh, their, their children like like this, or their baby like this. Eh? So. Uh, mother mine. Mother mine. No, no, no. It, uh, okay. My mother, we, we, we are doing it in SE. So, my mother 
is sick. Again, my mother is sick. Now, when you look at the, uh, now, there is something that maybe when you are signing a baby, it's very much important, maybe I can talk about it. It's about the, uh, when, when you're signing them, like, like mother, this is a sign for mother. A sick is like this. Mother, you sign it with an open arm, like this, mother. But the other one, but the sick, but sick, you, you open it when the, the palm, uh, the, the opposite side of the palm, and you press it there, the same place. Not that uh, all the other, that uh, they must be put on the same cheek, no. But we have changed there. We have changed the palm. The palm is like it's when it's it's looking at the, uh, the the opposite side. So it's in KSL the same sentence will be mother mine sick mother okay mother mine sick okay so. We have to ensure that the, the, the order of the verb is followed. Another sentence. Who is there? Who is there? So this is the in, 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 sign, uh, in natural language. How do we represent this in, uh, in KSL? So we start with there. Uh, there is, it will be there. There who? And it's done. There who? So uh, when you look at that sentence, you have started with this, and then we start with the, 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 the this is the, so how do you sign this? So in, in sign exact English, so this is a sign for who, 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 so who, is there? It depends where or, or you have to point where 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 you are asking. If it's if, 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 if that person is seated here, you have to point like who, who is there? Who is there? It depends where you are pointing. So who is there? In in KSL, you start with there. There who? There who? So. You see, we are not using this like is. We are try, we are trying to to ignore that that uh, that is or that is conjunct that is. So in KSL, normally uh, we make things by not uh, involving some of the that kind of thing. There is someone who is uh, uh, maybe who is wondering why why don't uh, why deaf don't or rather the person with hearing impairment for for uh, it's nowadays we don't call them deaf it's a very uh, it's not uh, learners or rather it's not as friendly as uh, as, uh, as as it may look eh? and that's why the, the nowadays they're called the hearing impaired now there is someone who is asking uh, <laughs> why, why 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 don't the hearing impaired uh, students don't do kiswahili and yet there are those who know how to talk in Kiswahili. I'll explain a very technical uh, uh, technical terms eh, that uh, maybe we shall uh, I'll, I'll answer that question. To answer that question, there are two types of, of people with hearing impairment according to the onset of, of the deafness. One is is called the uh, the pre prelingualist. Prelingualist. Now, what do we mean by the, the, the term prelingualist? The prelingualist, they are those those uh, those uh, those person who develop their their, their hearing impairment uh, before they developed language. That's why we have the language. That's why the, the, from the the language. This is language and the pre. The 
This is before they develop language. If you are born, and maybe you are born like maybe two, uh, maybe in the, in the course of two to three years, you develop this, maybe a, a, a problem in hearing. And you won't develop, you, you won't have that, uh, you won't have that language, you will not have developed that language. So you won't learn, you won't, you, you won't be taught in Kiswahili because the, de the school for the deaf from, uh, from the nursery school to the, to, uh, to form for, they are not taught in Kiswahili. So where will you know, where will you understand, where will you be taught Kiswahili? So that's why you see most of the deaf, even if you text them in Kiswahili, they won't, they won't understand what you're meaning because they are not taught in Kiswahili. Uh, alternative there, the, the, that is uh, compensated with Kenya Sign Language. And that's why I'm, I, I told you at the beginning, KSL is their mother tongue. And it's not, it is tested in class eight and class uh, form four because they don't do Kiswahili. So the prelegalist deafness, uh, the, 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 the prelegalist don't do, uh, they don't know, most of them they don't know Kiswahili. Because they in the, in the in the school they are not taught, but they are the, the second group is the postlingualist. Postlingualists, they are those who develop their 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 deafness when they have already uh, acquired the language. Maybe you, you you got an accident when you are uh, twelve years old, and you lost your hearing. So by the, that time you'll have developed your language. So you'll, 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 it doesn't mean that the, the, your language will become extinct. You'll still uh, have that language in, in your soul. So the, the, that's why you see some people with deaf know Kiswahili and other don't know. Because the, the, the prelingualists, they are not totally taught in Kiswahili. And even though these postlingualists, if someone develops uh, the, 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 the deafness while he or she is in classics, it means uh, he'll be transferred or rather may be placed in a, a special school for the deaf where they, they, they won't get that, uh, won't continue being taught in Kiswahili. That's why we, we, we see most of the deaf, uh, uh, some knows Kiswahili and others don't know, but it, it all depends with the, the onset, the onset of the deafness. So we shall have a, a short break, uh, send your comments, maybe through our, uh, our, our WhatsApp, our, the, our number is it's, it's going uh, down the, the, the caption, and also, our Facebook at KUTV or Twitter at KUTV Kenya. So you're coming back, ask me any question and I'll answer you. Thank you.